Hi darlings, thank you for joining me. Today I did something that I haven't done in a long time and that is record my wash day. I spared no step, I showed every little detail, every single thing that I do for caring for my hair on a wash day from the products I use, the techniques that I use, and um, so without further ado, let me just walk you through how I wash my hair and dry it and style it. Here we go. I have been using Naughty Hair Care products for several months now, going on six months, and this is the shampoo that I use, and it's from their Wave Hello collection, and it's called their Wave Hello Curl Defining Shampoo. It's cruelty-free, vegan, um, no parabens, no petrochemicals, no sulfates, no silicones. This is a British brand, and I this is a low sudsing shampoo, but it does a great job of really getting in there and removing the buildup from my scalp. I only wash my scalp. I never wash the actual strands of my hair, so I go in and I really work it into my scalp, really massaging it, breaking down all the oils, and when I rinse um, the shampoo that's traveling down the strands of my hair is sufficient for me to um, remove and cleanse my hair. Next up, I go in with Wave Hello Conditioner, and this is also curl defining conditioner, and it is 97% natural, as are all the Naughty Hair Care products. Again, vegan, cruelty free. I really quite like this um, particular conditioner because I feel like it gives my hair just enough um, detangling power. I don't really get tangles in my hair, so I just sort of fingle, finger, <laughs> finger through my hair and remove all the um, loose strands of hair that are trapped inside of my silver curls. And um, yeah, so I really like the conditioner. I leave that in my hair. Generally when I'm taking a shower, I do this. And so this would be, I wash my hair and then I get into doing some conditioner. Whatever I'm doing in the shower will be sufficient enough time. And then when I'm all done with that, then I rinse out my conditioner. Next up, is a hair treatment and today I use Naughty Hair Cares to the rescue and I really quite like this I feel like it is the defining product for my wash day anytime that I skip this and try something else I do notice a significant difference in my curl definition hydration and overall lasting power of that wash day so to the rescue is basically the one variable that I'm very, very reluctant to change in my wash day. Um, again, it's um, all the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. And um, actually this jar is very empty because everyone in the house loves this one. The girls love it, I love it, and my curls. That really does define a product if all three of us have very different curl patterns and all three of us love this product. Basically, this is the defining product that gives me the lasting definition and hydration and the kind of um, clumping of my curls that I like. So after I rinse this out, I leave this in my hair. Um, I leave To The Rescue in my hair for about um, 15, 20 minutes. And I just put a cap on and um, walk around the house and then go in and rinse that off. And I usually just rinse it off in my kitchen sink. Um, when I'm done rinsing that out, I go in with my styling products. And the first one that I go in with is this product from um, Naughty Hair Care. And it's also from their Wave Hello collection and it's called Taming Cream. So this is basically a styling um, product but it's a cream base and so I go in with this and I basically work it into my hair section by section however I don't use too much of this but it is the base of my curls and then after I'm done with that I go in with an actual styling gel and I use this one from We Dad. My hair absolutely loves it. I know um, I've tried some other gels and my hair just doesn't respond as well and it's not drying but it gives me this lasting hold which is what I'm looking for on day one for my wash day. I 
have to have a gel that's going to give me supreme hold. And this one, the Advanced Climate Control Gel from Wee Dad, does exactly what my hair needs. And as you can see, my hair is defined and it's happy and it's hydrated. Um, and I will be able to get um, many days, hopefully. Uh, the weather is usually a determining factor, but hopefully I will be able to get um, plenty of days out of this wash day. Um, one other thing about this gel, it's very fluid, which means a little bit goes a long way. I don't have to use a lot. Now, there's two products that I have here that I sometimes use and sometimes don't use. For today's wash and go, I used both of these products. So I really love the Briogeo Curl Charisma Coil Custard. And Briogeo is a very clean brand and um, it has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. But this product for my hair has a little bit of humectants in it or some kind of um, oils in there that sometimes if I go too heavy on this, then I won't get the right lasting power out of my wash day. So I use this sparingly, but I love how it gives my hair bounce and shine. It's quite nice. And so I do add just a little bit of this at the end. And I also love um, Hello Curls. And this is just a defining spray. And basically, um, I just use this at the end and I just spritz it into my hair and then use my hands to sort of massage it throughout um, the strands. So um, I don't go too heavy with this one. And I don't go too heavy with this one, but they're really nice products. I think they add that extra little bounce and shine um, and a little more hydration to my curls. And as far as when I'm done with my styling products, I learned this from um, Felicia and she does what's called a, a, a wet plop. Well, I didn't even know what the heck a plop was. All I knew was I would see curly girls and they would put on a shower cap like after they condition their hair or after they style their hair and all of these things, right? So I was totally familiar with putting a shower cap on after I conditioned my hair, but I had never done it after I put my styling products in my hair. And so that has really changed my wash day. So after I put all the styling products in my hair, I go ahead and put a shower cap on. And in doing that, it really locks in all of the wetness, all of the products. So I don't dry my hair between each step. This is a fundamental factor that my hairstylist, Shy, is adamant about that um, drying hair creates frizz and I don't want to disrupt my hair shaft so I never dry my hair in between any of the steps and in fact I feel like the water adds to the definition and adds to the um, actual curl clumping so my hair stays nice and clumped when I do this and it has this added clump factor when I wet pop and I put on the shower cap after I add my styling products and so generally um, I just find some kind of chores or something to do for about 20 minutes while my hair sits under the cap, jump on a call, something like that, just to quickly pass the time. And then I take off the shower cap and I jump straight into drying or diffusing my hair. And I use my Diva dryer to do this.
so I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions I know there's probably something I'm skipping and something you guys wanted to know so if you need to ask me a question please leave me a comment let me know what you're thinking um was this helpful is there any other curl content you'd like to see from me let me know leave me a comment on that i hope you enjoyed it i love you thank you for watching as always see you on the next one bye